In this video tutorial, we will learn some important name reactions. These name reactions constitute an important part of the CBSC board examination paper. First is DOS process. The conversion of chlorobenzene into phenol under drastic condition is known as DOS, DOS process. When chlorobenzene reacts with aqueous NOH, it yields a salt, sodium phenoxide. Since it is acidic in nature and it is basic in nature, therefore a salt will be produced. The reaction is as follows. HCl is released and the salt ONA, sodium phenoxide is formed. Important part is the temperature range and the pressure range. The DOS process is carried out under drastic condition. The term drastic conditions means high the conditions of high temperature and pressure. The temperature here is 623 Kelvin and pressure range is 200 to 300 atm. When sodium phenoxide is formed then it is acidified using SCL which is released in this step. to form phenol and a side product NaCl. If you want to write this complete equation in a short form then it can be written as chlorobenzene plus phenol. The two conditions are aqueous NOH, high temperature and pressure and the second is H plus or simply acidification. Williamson synthesis. In this process, ether is formed as the major product. Alkyl, alkyl halide, which is primary, 1 degree alkyl halide is shaken and is reacted with NaOR, which is sodium salt of alcohol or sodium alkoxide. Or we can also take KOR, which is potassium salt of alcohol or potassium alkoxide. This reaction proceeds through SN2 mechanism. This is one of the features of Williamson synthesis. Here are two nucleophiles. One is X minus, which is halide nucleophile, and the other is RO minus, alkoxide, alkoxide nucleophile. Since alkoxide, al uh, alkoxide nucleophile is more powerful than halide nucleophile, therefore it replaces X, X minus nucleophile through SN2 mechanism forms the project uh, forms the product ROR which is ether and another product as a side product NAX if you have taken NAOR and otherwise KOX this ether can be symmetrical or unsymmetrical depending on whether R and RDX are same or different consider the following example Suppose 1 degree alkyl halide be CH3Cl and it is treated with NaOCH3 sodium methoxide and, on, and upon heating NaCl, NaCl NaCl will be the side product and CH3OCH3 will be a symmetrical ether as this part and this part are same. The IUPAC name of this is methoxymethane. Now here are some limitations of Williamson's synthesis. In the previous section, we used a primary alkyl halide. Now suppose we take a 3 degree alkyl halide, CH3C, CH3, CH3Cl. Then when it is reacted with NaOCH3, then the reaction proceeds through alpha B and alkene. Now this is alpha carbon, this is beta carbon, Cl eliminates from alpha carbon and an H atom eliminates from beta carbon to give this alkene. So if we use 2 degree alkyl halide, CH3, CH, CH3, Cl, then when it is reacted with sodium methoxide, upon heating, 
an ether is formed along with an alkene but here the problem is that ether is formed as a minor product so again ether cannot be synthesized by this method using 2 degree and 3 degree alkyl halide these are the limitations of williamson synthesis the third reaction is colbase reaction here the initial compound is phenol and aqueous anyway and the end product is 2 hydroxyl benzoic acid whose common name is salicylic acid so how this reaction is carried out uh, first phenol is reacted with aqueous anyway since it is uh, acidic and it is basic so a salt sodium phenoxide is formed with the side product h2o now here sodium phenoxide is treated with co2 now here the important thing is temperature and pressure range and you should write it in examination also here i am showing co2 as coo so that you understand it more clearly and after rearrangement reaction this this coo i am showing here it coh and this is ona and after acidification through hcl or h plus this is this can be shown as h and cl side product is nacl and two hydroxyl benzoic acid is formed as the major product in short this reaction can be written as phenol first reaction is aqueous anoh second is co2 and upon heating and the third is acidification to give the end product salicylic acid then the main feature is a new carbon carbon bond bond is formed here here is a carbon atom and the new carbon carbon bond is formed this is the main feature